Hello and welcome to Broken Entertainment. Today we're going to cover this roundly destroyed video of Kathleen Kennedy talking to the Scientific and Technical Awards <clears throat> in filmmaking. And a lot of people are making fun of the, the fade-in joke which lands kind of like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> and the lack of tone and the fact that she's very clearly reading off of a script and doesn't really care or believe in anything, and the fact that she dared to come out with a video talking about the awesome things women are doing in film just a couple days after firing a woman because she had a different political opinion. So, there's all that, and that's well and good. Um, but... There's actually a really deep, terrifying look into the heart and soul of Disney in this little video. And it tells you why so much of our entertainment coming out of Hollywood is soulless. And why so much of it is cynical. And I'm going to go ahead and play the whole clip. And I'm going to talk about it when we get to the point. In Lori Atkin, she was the first honored with a scientific and technical award in 1961. Okay, hang on. So, just the whole structure of this first intro where she goes fade in, which is supposed to be some sort of reference for you know the target audience, right? Who work on these things, but the whole organization is like what made you think fade in she was the first for or sorry fade in Lori atkins she was the first was a good opening sentence it it's just a jumbled mess and it kind of informs how they make movies doesn't it because how many times you know look at the plot of wonder woman 1984 it's all over the place as far as the fade in joke, which is, it's what it is, it's a joke. It wasn't something she wasn't supposed to say, but read anyway, because she's a dumb robot. But it, it doesn't work because she doesn't give it any life. She doesn't give it pause, which she should be doing. And she doesn't come across as authentic in any way. And, you know, come on, her target audience knows this woman has never worked in their field, has no idea what they do, but let's go ahead. For her work at Technicolor, Lori was a scientist artist, a storyteller, a glass ceiling breaker. Cut to 2021, and Lori's... There's another one, cut to... ...pioneering legacy has become an expanding story of women shattering what is possible in the science and technology of filmmaking. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. The cut to and the uh, the background music and the fade in. She's talking down to the people in this award. She has no respect for them. Because the music is this pandering BS corporate crap right, that you hear all the time in this kind of promotional video, and it, it's like, oh yeah, uh, slap some soulless music behind it, and the idiots watching it will think happy thoughts, and then, you know, you're supposed to feel inspired, but it's, it's soulless corporate junk, and when you watch these videos, whenever I've had a video like this targeted at me, it's like, okay, not only do you not know what you're talking about, not only have you never so much as lifted a finger in what I'm doing, but you're talking down to me with this pandering BS music. You know, I immediately tune it out because it's like, wow, what, what a jerk. And the whole fade in and cut to thing, I mean, come on. It's, it's an insult to the people who do this job in the industry. You're going to... It, it's like trying, she's picking out buzzwords that she doesn't know anything about, right? And she's trying to sound hip and cool. She's like, 
Oh, I'm one of you. No, you're not. This year, Haley Ivey God, this music drives me nuts. Pixar Animation Studios, Kelly Ward Hamill, and Mary Ann Simmons of Walt Disney Animation Studios will be the recipients of the 24th, 25th, and 26th Science and Technical Award presented to women by the Academy. Haley, Kelly, and Mary Ann are honored for their innovations in hair simulation. And this year marks the most women honored at a single scientific and technical awards. So, they're being honored for their hair simulation uh, work. And there's some really awesome animation, actually, with hair out there now. And just watch Moana. I mean, it just blows you away. But, so, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about those three. But she just said 24th, 25th, and 26th awards. So there's been 23 other women. And you don't talk about any, you talk about one. That's it? That's all you got. Is there work to be done? More barriers to break? More progress to be made? Yes, of course. Listen to the way she's reading this. She does not care. She doesn't even believe what she's saying. Look at her face. It never changes. Her eyes are completely uninterested. This is, she's just reading this to, to pander and to score some some nice little virtue points that she can spend somewhere. But the story of women innovators making movie magic, their story isn't ready to fade out. Here we go. Not even close. Oh yeah, fade out. There's another one. Today, more than ever, cinema storytelling is... How do you do, fellow kids? ...science. Cinema... <laughs> I talked over it. Let me back up. Cinema storytelling is science. There it is. Storytelling is science. Let's let's go over that again. Cuz you don't want to miss it. Today more than ever cinema storytelling is science. Cinema storytelling is science. Cinema storytelling is technology. Cinema storytelling is technology. And women are helping to redefine science. The rest of it doesn't matter. Cinema storytelling is science. Cinema storytelling is technology. What has come out of Disney in recent years? Soulless junk. What has come out that they have done that has been great? Moana. And that was how long ago? That was 2016? Since then... It's been junk after junk after junk, and none of it has any soul whatsoever. But they always talk about the technology and the science. <laughs> They're always telling you about how awesome they are at these new animation techniques. And that's why you're getting quote-unquote live-action Lion King and live-action Aladdin with Blue Will Smith. Because they only care. To them, it's a science. Oh, you can just boil art down to an art algorithm. And they have. So, science and technology is an important part of filmmaking. But it's not the storytelling. Science and technology is a tool. But for Disney, it has become the thing. It's no longer the tool. The rest of the t the rest of the the movie exists to promote the science and the technology because they don't care. They don't understand what art is anymore, and they will never make anything great again until somebody there understands what art is. Some of the greatest movies ever made have had limited technology and science behind them. 
Some of the greatest stories I've ever told have been nothing but words on a piece of paper. Storytelling, and that includes cinema storytelling, is not science and technology. It is, that is a tool that a good director can use. But that's not it. And there's your cynicism. There's your there's your awful cynicism creeping in. And it has become so prevalent. Remember, she's reading from a script that has probably been combed over and re-edited multiple times. These words are not a mistake. They're intentional. Because they believe that. They don't believe in good storytelling anymore. They believe you can narrow it down to a science and, an, and a technology. You don't need art. Just spit it into an algorithm. Make whatever comes out. And that's why you know, remake after remake after remake after remake. Oh, oh, well, you know, yeah, this movie was great, but it was it was like 10 years ago. Now the science and the technology are here. But you're not making anything new. You're not making anything anybody wants to watch. You can say, oh well, you know, Lion King brought in X bazillion dollars, but that's because initially you get that wave of people going in because it's their nostalgic. But almost no one came out of those movies saying they were good. You know, the originals were better every time because the originals, yes, they pushed the boundaries of animation. But in that was a tool, a component of the storytelling. You, you cannot reduce it to science and technology. Yes, I know she's talking to a bunch of people who are into the science and technology, but that's where you talk about how wonderful of a tool it is, how great storytellers have come along and taken this wonderful new technology and science and been able to make great stories out of it by making great stories and using these tools to tell their story in new and exciting ways. But that's not what she says. What she says is science and technology are storytelling. They're not. But until you have these people no longer in power, that's what you're going to get. And they're going to spit words into two algorithms. One to define the story for them, and another to tell them how to shove the agenda and propaganda down your throat. Think about some of the great movies that have come along. Think about Star Wars and how they really pushed the science and technology of the time behind filmmaking. But Star Wars isn't great because of that science and technology. It's better because of it. But if you took the heart out of Star Wars and just presented the technology, oh, they already did that. It's called the sequel trilogy. Where the first movie is a formula, the second movie is designed to destroy your characters, and the third movie is a gigantic mess. You know, say what you will about the prequels, but they had George Lucas's heart in them. But they are a cautionary tale of relying too much on science and technology. But Jurassic Park. 
push the boundaries of science and technology and cinema to levels never before dreamed of in a live action movie but that's not why it's good would it have been as good in claymation no probably not but the story the art the soul of the thing is what matters and you can always tell because if you can take a story and you can remove the technology and the science and it's still good oh wait Jurassic Park was the best selling novel before it was ever a movie no science no technology if you can do that then you have something but if when you take the science and the technology out all you have is random words you don't have shit you know, I've been talking about Moana recently go watch that movie in slow motion or you know don't watch the whole thing but watch parts of it the level of detail in the animation is mind-blowing okay but if you reduced it down to 1990s animation style it's still a good movie because it still has heart and a story you know what doesn't have heart your trashy Star Wars movies you know what doesn't have any heart live action Lion King but it has technology and science you know that's the thing a lot of people have missed to me about this video one sentence that identifies almost everything wrong with modern day entertainment in a few words it's all about science and technology and yeah she's a flaming hypocrite too but I figured enough people had already covered that I didn't really need to go into it too much so if you like the video hit the like button if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel hit the like the bell for notifications and i will see you next time